Hi, so in this video we are going to learn how to divide a given number into given ratios. So here we will solve three problems. As you can see all the three problems are of different types. In the first we have to divide a given number into the ratio of 4 is to 5 and in the second we have to divide a number in the fractional ratio and in the third problem we have to divide the given number in the ratio of mixed fractions. So how do we solve it? First we have to convert these ratios in the simplest form that means the ratios in the form in which each term is an integer right so we will do that and then we will divide the number in the given ratio so we will solve all the problems all the three problems one by one so first let's start with the problem number one so here we have first problem in which we have to divide 360 in the ratio of 4 is to 5 so this 4 is to 5 is already in in the simplest ratio form both the numbers are integers and both of them are co-prime so that means the ratio 4 is to 5 is in the simplest form now let's try to divide 360 in the ratio 4 is to 5 first we have to divide this 360 in 4 plus 5 equal parts 4 plus 5 that is 9 equal parts to divide 360 in 9 equal parts we have to divide 360 by 9 which is equal to 40 and this 40 will be the value of one part so if the value of one part is 40 the value of four parts four such parts will be equal to 40 multiplied by 4 that is 160 and five such parts will be equal to 40 into 5 which is equal to 200 so this 160 plus 200 adds up to 360 and this 160 and 200 are in the ratio of 4 is to 5 so this 160 by 200 is in the ratio of 4 is to 5 and 160 plus 200 is equal to 360 so we have divided 360 in the ratio of 4 is to 5 and now let's take another problem so this is the second problem in which we have to divide 207 in the ratio of 1 by 6 is to 1 by 4 is to 1 by 3. First step what we will do is we will convert this ratio in such a way that each term is integer. So what we have to do for that? Yes, we know if we divide all the values in the ratio or multiply all the values in the ratio by the same number, the value of the ratio doesn't change. Which number to multiply it with? We have to multiply it with the LCM of 6, 4 and 3. What will be the LCM of 6, 4 and 3? Yes, we have to use all the prime numbers while dividing all 6, 4 and 3. And we have to start with the smallest possible prime number. So smallest possible prime number which divides at least one of them. Actually it divides two numbers, 6 and 4 is 2. So 2 3s are 6 and 2 2s are 4 and 3 again. Then again we will take 2 because this 2 is divisible by 2. So 3, 1 and 3. And now we will divide it by 3. 3 1s are 3, this 1 as it is, 3 1s are 3. So the LCM will be equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 which is 12. Right? So if I multiply this given ratio by 12, I'll get the ratio in its simplest form where all the terms are integers. So we have 1 by 6, which we will multiply by 12. Then we have 1 by 4, which again we will multiply by 12. And then we have 1 by 3, which again we will multiply by 12. And this will actually be equal to 1 by 6 is to 1 by 4 is to 1 by 3. Let's erase this. So 6 1s are 6, 6 2s are 12, 4 1s are 4, 4 3s are 12, 3 1s are 3, 3 4s are 12. So the ratio 1 by 6 is to 1 by 4 is to 1 by 3 can be written as 2 is to 3 is to 4. Yes, and what is the next step? Next step is we have to divide this 207 in 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 9 equal parts so if I divide this 207 in 9 equal parts each part 
will be equal to 207 by 9 which will be equal to 9 2 is 18 9 3 is 27 each part will be equal to 23 then to divide this 207 in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4 I just have to multiply this 2 by 23 this 3 by 23 and this 4 also by 23 right so it will give us 2 3 is a 6 2 2 is a 4 3 3 is a 9 3 2 is a 6 4 3 is a 12 1 carried forward 4 2 is a 8 plus 1 9 so this is the amount which P will get and this one is the amount which Q will get and this is the amount which R will get and now let's solve the next problem where the quantity is divided into the ratio of mixed fractions. So here we have to divide 440 in the ratio of 2 1 by 3 is to 1 3 by 4. So first of all we will convert this 2 1 by 3 is to 1 3 by 4 in the simplest possible form. So for that this 2 1 by 3 can be written as 2 3 is a 6 plus 1 7 by 3 and this 1 3 by 4 can be written as 4 1 is a 4 plus 3 which is 7 by 4. Here this 3 and 4 are co-prime so their LCM will be the product of 3 and 4 so to get rid of these denominators in fraction we have to multiply this by the LCM of both the denominators that means we have to multiply it by 12 so 3 1 is a 3 3 4 is a 12, 4 1 is a 4, 4 3 is a 12. So this will be equal to 7 4 is a 28 and this will be equal to 7 3 is a 21. Right? But these 28 and 21 both are divisible by 7. So we will divide both of them by 7. 7 4 is a 28, 7 3 is a 21. So this is ultimately the ratio 4 is to. 3. That means 2 1 by 3 is to 1 3 by 4 is nothing but the ratio 4 is to 3. So now you have to divide 440 in the ratio of 4 is to 3 which is very easy. I think you can do it. So that's all for this video and in the next video we will solve few more problems based on ratio and after that we will learn proportion and then we will solve the problems which require the knowledge of both the concepts. So that's all for this video. So keep watching Math Smart and bye bye till then.